thinking about purchasing the Electric XP 2.0? Here are 10 reasons not to buy the Electric XP 2.0. Number 1. It is heavy. The Electric XP 2.0 weighs a whopping 64 pounds, making it a bit difficult to lift and carry. Number 2. Battery Life Electric rates the XP 2.0 at 45 plus miles, but that can only be achieved on pedal assist level 1 with no throttle and on flat terrain with ideal factors such as rider weight. Number 3. The battery is integrated into the frame. This seemed like a great feature at first, until my commute increased and I needed to swap my battery daily. It is a bit cumbersome to swap the battery daily. Number 4. It has metal pedals. This should be a plus regarding durability, but I constantly hit my shin against the pedals, leaving me bleeding and scarred. Number 5. The key must be kept in the bike when riding. Number 6. The headlight is a bit dim, providing just enough light for visibility. Number 7. This is a bit personal. I am not a fan of how the XP handles pedal assist. For example, pedal assist level 1 tops out at around 10 miles per hour versus the eco mode on some other e-bikes that can take you closer to the top speed of the bike by sacrificing acceleration. Number 8. The electric XP 2.0 is not pedal friendly. A bit ironic, isn't it? but the weight of the bike makes it difficult to pedal without pedal assist. Number 9 This is very minor, but the XP does not come with a bell or horn, something that I think is critical to rider safety. Number 10 Electric does not have a support network, so any issues will have to be handled over the phone or via email. Thankfully, Electric's customer service is improving. To watch my full review of the Electric XP 2.0, click the link in the card above. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I am Terrain. Peace.